Hey there, this is going to be a very short recap about a cultural anime. And as always, the sauce is in the video, please look for it carefully. The main character, Shota, is a teacher at an academy. However, he is a pushover, and the students always made fun of him and do not respect him. As a result, the other teachers are also fed up with him. When he returned to the class, he asked all of them to be quiet, especially this girl, Hinano. <laughs> He always singled her out, and that made her very angry. She wants to keep arguing with him, but Kasuga interrupted them. That pissed her off as well, but there is not much she can do. After that, he called Kasuga to answer the question. When she is at the front of the classroom, he suddenly realized that her lower protective gear are in plain sight. He quickly covered them up and that shocked her. So, she punched him out of reflex. She noticed that her defense is down and quickly apologized to him for hitting him. Thank God she did not cancel him. Once again, like I said in my previous videos, please don't ever do that in real life. Women are independent and strong enough to take care of themselves. So, don't be a hero or you will be canceled for life. Don't even try to talk to her because that is very rude, and she already has a boyfriend. Disrespect her from afar. Anyways, please subscribe to my channel for more life-saving tips like this. Well, moving on, when she is returning to her seat, Hinano is laughing at her. <laughs> so she punched Hinano too for the meme. It seems like they have a fun relationship. After a while, Hinano is still angry at Kasuga, but Ryo defused the situation. <laughs> During recess, Hinano told Ryo that she is going to have some extra lesson from the teacher. So, Ryo has the chance to be alone with Kasuga. She is curious and wants to know why Hinano does not get along with Kasuga. So, she asked Kasuga about it. はけ口にされるのはたまらないわね。気なのとはいつからこんななの。ここ入ってすぐ。ね。大した話もしたことなかったけど。うーん。何がきっかけなの?わかんない。いきなり。まあ別に気にならないし。反撃すれば大人しく
狙いは君じゃないユハ君ですよあの子をね手に入れたい君にその手伝いをしてほしいんですそれって犯罪でしょ頭大丈夫そんなの関係ないんですよ要はバレなきゃいいですから君みたいにね After hearing all of that, she has no choice but to take the deal. By the way, I just realized that he is the one who asked Hinano to temporarily remove Kasuga's lower protective gear just now. He wants others to hate Kasuga and isolate her from the others. Not gonna lie, that is a scummy move right there. Well, in the middle of all of that crap, he did g a v e her some private lesson. He is teaching her about the greatness of his Excalibur. He keeps teaching the shit out of her until she is full of knowledge. One day, he announced that Inano is not coming to class. Little did they know that she is coming somewhere else. Well, here is a flashback. After giving her the protein time, he informed her about his next plan. However, when she is in the classroom, she starts to have a second thought. She does not know if she wants to continue with this crap. Although she does not get along with Kasuga that well, she knew that she is the one who saved her before this. She does not want others to bully and isolate Kasuga too. After having a deep thought, she decided not to help him out anymore. So, this is. 協力できないとええはっきり言っておくけど私は絶対にやらないし許さないから仕方ないですねお仕置きじゃ効果ないのでしつけといきますか That caused him to be angry because he has lost a pawn for his plan So as a teacher he decided to give her a punishment for not honoring her promise Well, what a fucking surprise. She is having a self revision in an empty club room. He used some holy relic on her for academic purposes. After a while, she released a lot of holy water from her holy canal. However, it is not over yet. In fact, this is just the beginning. He is going to start his lesson by teaching her the wonders of his Excalibur. He is giving her a practical lesson because he is a passionate and responsible teacher. After that, he even recorded the entire lesson in 4K. I think he is going to need that for some top 10 educational moments. He even sent the video to Kasuga since it is his responsibility as a teacher. Uso, Uso, Hinano. Well, Kasuga saw that, and Ryo also saw it too. After that, Ryo told Kasuga that they should report this to the authorities immediately. Kasuga informed her that it seems like he is fearless and used to it, so this means that this issue will get covered up. When they are in class, both of them act like nothing has happened and continue to treat Hinano the same. It seems like Hinano is not acting strange, and she is lively as usual. Well, she just received a lot of nutrient rich protein shake, so she is definitely fine. If you don't believe in the wonder of protein shake, the editor is a living proof. <laughs> <笑>リーを協力して絶対こいつに思い知らせてやるから。<笑> During lunch break, both Kasuga and Ryo are at the rooftop, and they are discussing about Hinano's situation. They assume that Hinano is facing a dangerous threat right now, so Ryo wants to confront him. Kasuga told her that it is too risky, and it is not wise to face him now. Dame, Kiken, Hinano だって相当な脅し受けてるはず。そのネタも解消しなきゃ。そうだと思うけど、でも。Despite that, Ryo is going to confront him alone since she is a brave and stunning woman in 2023. She informed him that she has to talk with him about something in private after school. He accepted her request and wait for her in the classroom. When she entered the classroom, she asked him to stop giving Hinano the protein time. He acts like he has no idea what is she talking about. After that, she told him to stop his acting, since she has seen and knew everything about his protein time. Since the cat is out of the bag now, he told her that Hinano is actually enjoying it, and she does not deny his entry into her dungeon. Despite that, Ryo does not believe his bullshit, and assumed that Hinano is actually very afraid to deny his entry. After that, he pulled an Uno reverse on her, and showed her a video instead. It is a video of her, and she is accompanying a guy at an alley. I guess she is working part time to earn a living and pay tax to the government. Just as expected, she is working as an Excalibur eco cleaner, and she is doing a very good and hard job. To make m a t t e r even more family friendly, that guy seems to be her father. Now, that is some top 10 Alabama moments right there. Anyways, he checkmated her and told her that everyone has their own secrets. 
Then, he told her that he is interested in her organic homegrown melons. I guess he wants her to introduce fruit farming to him. She knew that he has the upper hand now, and she does not want to be expelled from school. So, she has no choice but to follow his order and starts to marinate his Excalibur using her melons. At the same time, she even cleaned it the eco-friendly way since she is a pro in multitasking. After a while, he rewarded her with a lot of fresh organic protein shake. You guys should do that in real life too, since it will give positive reinforcement to those who work very hard. I am doing the same to my editor too. Moving on, after his Excalibur is clean and ready, he immediately switched her position and explored her dungeon. She did not see that coming, but she will be coming later. As usual, he is not wearing any protective gear during the dungeon exploration since he is a Sigma. After a while, he gave her a lot of fresh organic protein as souvenirs after visiting her dungeon. She couldn't believe it herself since she has received protein from different source other than her dad. Now, her dungeon is not family-oriented anymore. Well, it is a shame, but there is not much we can do since it is a canon event. After the protein time is over, he wants her to help him out. It seems like he is targeting Kasuga next, and she wants Ryo to isolate Kasuga from other classmates. Yeah, <laughs> During class, Hinano is being herself as usual, and she keeps pestering Kasuga. Ryo is so done with her and bonk her again. <laughs> However, she also knew that it is possible that he asked Hinano to bully Kasuga, and she will be isolated too. When he asked Kasuga to come forward to answer the question, her lower protective armor is getting a debuff and lifted temporarily. The entire class managed to spectate such spectacular view, and she became flustered after realizing it. He warned Hinano not to bully her, and such behavior is not allowed at school. Well, I guess protein time is always an exception. Hinano is shocked and told them that she did not do anything, but no one believed her. During lunch break, Hinano got very angry at Kasuga because Kasuga is the one that did that to herself, so Hinano will be blamed. However, no one seems to believe in Anno, and she swore that she will bully the crap out of Kasuga later. <laughs> Ryo is very worried since Hinano will get punished by his Excalibur of Justice later, but Kasuga seems to be smiling. After school, just as expected, he is punishing Hinano for not doing her job well. As a punishment, he wants her to become a volunteer for his Excalibur cleaning. He might be a scum, but he still has some conscience left. He lightened the punishment by feeding her a lot of protein shake of justice. After that, he is going to explore her dungeon as usual. When they are having the protein time, someone opened the door. Damn, just as expected, not locking door is a canon event after all. Anyways, it is Kasuga, and it seems like she is recording the entire protein time in 4K. He is shocked when he saw that, and couldn't come up with an excuse. Meanwhile, Hinano is very happy because she thought that Kasuga is coming to rescue her. Y <laughs> However, Kasuga did not come here to do all of that. It seems like the rescue never come. But Hinano will come instead. Anyways, Kasuga knew everything that is happening all this time. She even knew that Hinano was forced to give him her dungeon pass since her action of doing a solo let's play was found out. In addition, she also knew about other stuff too. After that, she took something from the curtain. It is a hidden camera, and everything that he has done is recorded in 4K and ready to get sponsored by Raid Shadow Legend as usual. Anyways, she asked him to continue with the protein time because she wants to watch it for academic purposes. However, he couldn't do that because his Excalibur is no longer ready for battle, and it is back to its default size. She ridiculed him for having such useless Excalibur, and he is not going to conquer her using that. It seems like the table has turned now, and he definitely did not expect that. <laughs> In the meantime, the chairman came to the school to visit someone. It seems like he is Ryo's father. Ah, Ryo, 
Ah, uh, Papa. <laughs> well, that is the end of my recap for this cultural anime. This anime currently has two episodes only, and I am sure that they will release more episodes soon. These are the comments and feedback for this anime from a cultural website. So, what do you guys think about the plot and animation of this anime? Did you expect the plot twist at the end? Let me know in the comment section below after you watched it alone, or with your family for some top 10 families moments.